so let me continue from the previous lecture so again i am going to consider uh, one more example that is uh, the transform associated with a, a linear function of a random variable okay so let us uh, consider a random variable x and y be the linear uh, transformation of the random variable x that is ax plus b it's a linear transformation that is a linear function of the random variable y is a linear function of x where a and b are some scalars some uh, you know real values okay so now we wanted to you know derive the moment generating function for the random variable y in terms of the moment generating function of the random variable x so the moment generating function of the random variable y is denoted by like this which is equal to expected value of e raised to s y then by definition this is going to be e raised to s times y is equal to a x plus b substitute here so this is going to be expected value of e power a then s x plus s b now again split the exponential e power a s x times e power s b so this is a constant so you can uh, take outside of the uh, expectation so e power i can write uh, s b times expected value of i can write like this is s a instead of a s times the random variable s x now what is this we know that m suffix x of m suffix x of s equal to expected value of e power s x now replace s by a s on both side or s a then what will happen this is m sub x of s a equal to expected value of e power s a times x therefore this is going to be the moment generating function of the random variable x x but the parameter is not s the parameter is s a s a so the parameter is changed parameter is scaled previously it was alone s yes. now it is s a so this is going to be e power s b times the moment generating function of the random variable x with the parameter s a not s yes. but in the left hand side you have the moment generating function of the random variable y with the parameter s yes. so this is the moment generating function of a, a linear function of the random variable <clears throat> that is transform associated with the a linear function of the random variable okay now in the previous lecture i took one random variable that is a exponential random variable so let me recall that exponential random variable now for exponential random variable x with the parameter lambda so the moment generating function for this is mx of s equal to lambda over lambda minus s 
now let us assume lambda is equal to 1 then in that case your m sub x of s equal to 1 divided by 1 minus s now let me find out the uh, linear function of this exponential random variable let me define y is equal to uh, let's say 2 times x plus 3 here a equal to 2 and uh, b equal to 3 so substitute these things in this formula so therefore m sub y is equal to e power s b where uh, b value is 3 therefore 3 times s times uh, m sub x sorry m this one is going to be uh, it's already given this one so replace s yes by 2s so this is going to be 1 by 1 minus 2s therefore this is the moment generating or uh, tra transform of uh, an exponential ram random variable with the, the linear function y is equal to 3x sorry 2x plus 3 that's it so whenever you have a linear function then you can easily find out the uh, transforms for that for that um, you know function for that random variable so it's a very simple process let me take one more example the transform associated with uh, a normal random variable the transform associated with a normal random variable okay let x be a, a normal random variable okay with the mean uh, mu and uh, variance equal to let's say sigma x squared therefore uh, x i can write as n of let's say mu sub x mu sub x comma sigma x squared so this is my random variable x normal random variable now i want to find the moment generating function mx of s now before that we need uh, the density function of this so the density function of the normal random variable x with the parameter mu and sigma is 1 by sigma x times root of 2 pi e to the minus x minus mu x the whole squared over 2 times sigma x squared so this is a pdf of the random variable x now you can substitute this data we can find out but uh, it is easier uh, for if you have a no standard normal random variable okay so therefore we first consider the special case of a standard normal random variable y okay with uh, mean equal to 0 and variance equal to 1 that means what mu y is equal to 0 and uh, sorry sigma y square is equal to 1 so this let us take this random variable first for this we will find out the transform and then from this we will go to m sub x of s using linear function of the random variable so the first job is let us find out m sub y of s so m sub y of s equal to um, expected value of e to the s y okay so this is integral of e power s y times f y of y times dy what is f y of y the limit is from minus infinity to plus infinity f y of y is equal to 1 by sigma y is anyway 1 so 2 pi e raised to minus y minus 0 squared so it is y squared by 2 that's it so this is the standard normal random variables pdf so substitute back here so it is integral of e power s y times e power minus y squared over 2 times dy now we need to rearrange the terms into standard normal okay so how do you do the rearrangement let me uh, work it out separately so e power s y minus y squared by 2 
now what you do you introduce some extra term here that is uh, plus a squared by 2 minus a squared by 2 okay so therefore this i can say e power uh, s y minus y squared by 2 minus a squared by 2 plus uh, a squared by 2 again e power uh, s y minus y squared by 2 minus a squared over 2 times e to the s squared over 2 now again rearrange this so in this you can take this 1 by 2 commonly outside so let me take minus 1 by 2 inside you have uh, s y plus uh, y squared plus s squared times e to the s squared over 2 now this is like uh, no i'm sorry here this is minus will come here let me write on properly here there is a minus so this is e to the minus 1 over 2 times s minus y the whole squared times e to the s squared over 2 therefore this you can substitute back here so 1 over root of 2 pi integral of e to the minus 1 half times uh, i can write y minus s also it is a square term y minus s squared times uh, e to the uh, s squared over 2 times dy like this uh, this is integration with respect to y so i can bring out of this uh, e to the s squared over 2 so e to the s squared over 2 times 1 by root of 2 pi integral of this e to the minus 1 half times uh, y minus s squared times dy now if you look at this integration now the density function is with the uh, mean is s and the variance is 1 in this one so let me rewrite like this e to the s squared over 2 times 1 by 1 times root of 2 pi times integral of e to the minus y minus s whole squared over 2 times 1 squared now you compare this expression with the standard uh, uh, normal density function what is the standard normal density function 1 by sigma square times root of 2 pi e to the minus y minus mu the whole square divided by 2 times sigma squared now instead of sigma squared i have uh, this one one if you compare this and that therefore sigma equal to 1 and instead of mu i have s here so mu equal to s okay so this one is going to be 1 by normalization property of the normal pdf with the mean s and unit variance so this is equal to e to the s square over 2 times 1 over root of 2 pi integral e to the minus y minus s the whole squared divided by 2 times dy so this entire integration is going to 1 because you are finding the total area under the pdf probability density function it's a pdf and uh, integrating this pdf over from minus infinity plus infinity this pdf has the mean of mean of s and variance of 1 so this is equal to e to the s squared over 2 what is this this is the transform of your standard normal random variable okay this is standard normal pdf okay now how do you find how do we find the uh, uh, transform of a normal random variable with the mean mu and variance sigma square we know the relation between uh, a normal random variable and a standard normal random variable x is a normal random variable 
with the mean mu and variance sigma let's say y is a standard uh, normal standard normal with the when i say standard then mean equal to 0 and variance equal to 1 so what is the connection between this x and y or relation between x and y your uh, x is going to be sigma times y plus mu that's it now for this relation we already know what is the transform right this already we derived this so m suffix s of s equal to e power mu s right times uh, m y of sigma s we have already done this we have a x plus b then this one is going to be e power b s times uh, m x of a s this already we did it the similar way instead of a i have sigma and instead of b i have mu therefore e to the mu mu s times this one is going to be here e to e to the a squared by 2 sigma a squared by 2 that's it sigma a squared by 2 and uh, Okay, therefore this is mx of s and uh, sigma is squared by 2 where plus uh, some constant you are adding right that is plus mu s that's it <coughs> that x is replaced by sigma y plus mu i'm sorry it did not come here let me simplify this here also e and here also e you can write as uh, e to the um, sigma squared a squared by 2 plus mu s that's it so this is the transform of a normal random variable with the mean mu and uh, variance sigma squared so mx of s where x is a normal random variable with the mu is mu mean is mu and variance is sigma squared where uh, y is a normal random variable with the mean zero and variance one so the so we approached this problem through a standard normal and from there we used a linear function of a random variable so whenever you are uh, you have a linear function then it is very easy to handle first you find the transform of a uh, standard normal that is mu uh, mean zero and variance one and once you find the transform of a standard normal then it is very easy to find the a normal random variable with the mean mu and the variance sigma square therefore whenever you have a general normal random variable with the mean mu and variance sigma square then what you do is you obtain the transform of a standard normal and then do the linear transformation so finding a transform for a standard normal is much more easy than finding a transform for a general normal random variable so that is why we went uh, through this uh, you know indirect uh, procedure okay so the final result is the transform of your standard normal is e to the s squared over 2 and the transform of your uh, normal general normal random variable is e to the sigma squared a squared over 2 okay plus mu times s so this is general normal random variable general normal random variable and this one is standard normal random variable when i say standard what i mean is the mean equal to zero and the variance equal to one
okay so at this point let me stop in the next lecture i am going to talk about how to move from transforms to moments the whole purpose of the transform is to make our life very simple to make the calculation much more easier so for that reason we need to know how to go from transforms to moments how do we find the first order moment how do you find the second order moment and so on once you know the moment then it's very easy to find the mean and variance of the random variable and so on and so forth okay so let me stop at this point thank you very much